Welcome to Algebra, Laws of Exponents, Product Rule. In mathematics, a power is the result of multiplying a number, called the base, by itself a certain number of times, where the exponent indicates how many times the base is multiplied by itself. In this example, the base is the value 2 and the exponent is the value 3. The power is indicating that 2 is to be multiplied 3 times, like this, 2 times 2 times 2, with a resulting value of 8. This idea is used when we need to express various situations, such as the number of possible combinations 3 pennies tossed into the air might land, all 3 heads, 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 tails, heads, tails, heads, heads, tails, 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 heads, heads, tails, heads, tails, 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 heads, and finally all three tails. You can see there are eight different ways three pennies can land. The value two represents the two states of a penny, heads and tails, and the three represents the number of pennies being tossed. If you wanted to toss four pennies in the air, there would be two to the fourth power, or sixteen combinations. All four heads, 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 tails, heads, heads, tails, heads, well, you get the idea. Often, two different powers with the same base need to be multiplied together, like the two examples we just explored, 2 to the third power and 2 to the fourth. We can take the two final results, 8 and 16, and multiply them together to get 128. We can also express the two powers as a product, like this, and then list it all out with three twos multiplied by four twos, again, the final value 128. A third way to express the product of these two powers is to add the exponents, 3 plus 4, to make the expression 2 to the 7th, also 128. This technique of adding the two exponents to achieve the new power is called the product rule in the laws of exponents. To use this rule, you must have two powers with the same base being multiplied, and then just use the same base and add the exponents. This rule is used to help simplify expressions involving powers. It also works when variables are the basis for powers, such as this example, identical to the one above, but using the variable x instead, or this one, where x squared times x cubed equals x to the power of 2 plus 3, or x to the fifth. Let's look at an example. Here are two powers with x as the base, which also contain coefficients. The coefficient values simply multiply as usual, with 2 times 3 equal to 6. But the power uses the base x, with the sum of the two exponents, 3 plus 4, with the final result of 6x to the seventh power. Here we have two more powers with the same base, the variable x, coefficients 4 and 2, and exponents 5 and negative 2. We follow the same process as before, actually multiplying the values 4 and 2 to get 8, and then adding the exponents to get 3. Our final answer, 8x cubed. Here we have two powers with different variables, each with exponents. We follow the same rule of adding the exponents but separately for each base. The variable x adds the two exponents 4 and 3, and the variable y adds 3 and 2, with the final result a two-part power, with x and y still separate, but with the exponents combined to make x to the seventh times y to the fifth. Here is another example with two separate powers using the variables a and b. We multiply the coefficients 2 and 4 to make 8, add the exponents for each power, 2 plus 1 for a, and 1 plus 3 for b, and achieve the final result of 8a cubed b to the fourth. Let's look at one more. Here we multiply the coefficient values 5 and 3 to get 15, and add the exponents 4 and 2 for the variable n. The variable m just stays the same with the final result of 15n to the sixth times m. To summarize the product rule in the law of exponents, when you multiply a power times a power, you add the exponents.